here with head coach Billy Donovan of Florida. What an amazing turnaround. What's the difference between the first half and the second half for you? You know, Greg, I, I thought in the first half we got it going early offensively, and then we were 0 for 6 from the three-point line. I didn't think our offense was going well, and it really affected our defense. And then I thought in the second half our guys really, as, as good as they could, really def try to defend their low post because NC State's got two really hard guys to defend, and I think City Low does a great job just spacing the floor and causes a lot of dilemmas and problems. So I just thought it was the press and the pressure and maybe trying to take them out a little bit of their flow that helped us. Well, you talk about the press, and I felt like Irving Walker did such a tremendous job of using his quickness and speed to set the tone defensively and up in the ante from an intensity standpoint. Well, I think he did, Greg, and, and Nick Calathis picked up some fouls. We had to sit him, and then he, when he was on the bench, we actually had some energy, but he did a great job making some steals, making some shots, and, you know, we got back into the game early in the second half, which was a help. You know, if all of a sudden you're still down 10 to 12 with six to go, now all of a sudden it's a more of a fight. But we were able to kind of chip into the lead, you know, with about the 16 minute timeout, and then really it was a dog fight the rest of the way. Well, looking at this game for me, and I don't want to make too much about it, but the way you won it, doing it defensively, does that really help set the tone moving into the conference season? You know, I'm hoping so, Greg, because I think having a young team, you know, uh, guys base their uh, effectiveness on whether or not the ball goes in or out of the basket and I think this could be a game that they can learn and say you know I, we can still affect the outcome of the game by p defending and, and, and collectively trying to get in there and make some plays to on a defensive end. You guys struggled a little bit offensively early on and you had a monster game offensively but I thought what you did defensively really helped set the tone for your team. Uh, yes sir, uh, coach uh, just tried to tell us in the locker room that we got to get stops and uh, I mean we would score, we're a scoring team but our focus is this year just getting stops, and I thought we uh, got the big stops at the end of the game that we needed. Well, you did a good job offensively of recognizing mismatches. A lot of times in the pick and roll, I was noticing they would switch their big on you, and you were very patient in attacking him either to get to the rim or, or set up your teammates. Yes, sir. I just try to see the mismatches. They were, like you said, they were switching, and um, I saw AT rolling, but uh, I thought our team played really well together at the end of the game, and we got it done. Well, Coach Donovan talked earlier about how you guys did it defensively, and one guy who did it for you, Irving Walker, was huge. The young freshman came in and did a stellar job in your absence. Oh, we got all sorts of confidence in him. He's a big-time player. Uh, he makes the big shots at the end for us, and uh, it was huge for us.